Hi guys, so as you've probably noticed, I haven't been on YouTube for a little while and um, and there's Lucy with her little cone on her head. So yeah, I guess that's where I'll start. Um, we got back from Hawaii and, and everything was great. You know, we were like really happy. We got back, we had a fantastic holiday. And then um, a couple of days later, Lucy's eyes started to look a bit funny and so she's, she's got some kind of problem that we're trying to fix and it's still not, um, it's still not exactly a hundred percent, but she seems quite happy and show everybody. <laughs> she's obviously would prefer not to have that little cone on her head, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so it, well, that was already kind of playing on my mind and I really, it brought me down, you know, like I was, I was really sad. And anytime that something happens to one of my animals, like I'm, I'm so attached to them, I treat them as, as my family and I was really sad but I also noticed at the same time that there was something happening with my dog, she just, she just really, she really slowed down and just wasn't really herself and she gradually stopped eating her normal food so we tried to give her something else, she ate a bit of that but over the space of a week she kind of stopped eating and and then so I took her to the vet and I remember it was like the 22nd of March. So I was sitting at the vet clinic and she really didn't want to be there. And um, she, she, yeah, the vet at first thought, you know, it's just some kind of stomach bacteria. I know I'm going to cry throughout this whole thing. So there's just no avoiding it. And I know that I wanted to make this video just to tell you guys what had happened. Anyway, so at first he thought that it was just a stomach bacteria and then we did some ultrasounds and x-rays just to make sure that she didn't hurt herself because she had trouble getting up as well. But the problem kind of, I thought it was arthritis maybe. She was eight years, nine months and I'm like, okay, that's, that's probably what it might be. And um, so he did the x-ray and the ultrasound and everything or partial ultrasound and everything came back fantastic. So we were confident, you know, she's got a stomach bacteria. Um, we've got some antibiotics, we're going to take care of that and um, and she'll be back to normal, back to her happy self and all good. And um, if you've watched my previous vlogs, I'm talking about my my black giant schnauzer, my girl, um, Petra. So anyway, we got a full blood test done as well just to make sure that she was okay. And she already had von Willebrand's disease, which is, which is a... Um, a blood clotting disorder. Her, when once she started bleeding, she would have a difficult time, um, basically stopping. So anyway, we waited, and I was like, I was pretty happy, you know. I was like, oh, good, you know, we've we've got everything under control. But the next day, obviously, she still didn't want to eat, and the vet called back, and he's like, her blood doesn't look good. So we brought it back for another like a full ultrasound and that's when we were told she's got a mass on her spleen um so obviously not good news and the worst news was that they told us that she doesn't have much time they told us a few weeks and it looks like it's spread to her liver and other parts so well, we heard the news and because she wasn't eating, we took her back to the vet and she stayed there for a couple of days. Long story short, many phone calls back and forth and we reached out to even a doctor in America and started working with him as well. And um, so many, many sleepless nights, you know, you're trying to save your dog. So when we went to pick her up from the vet, she was so happy. You could tell like she just wanted to get out of there and we did everything that we could like there was no there was no other option that we could have taken we took pretty much anything that we possibly could have done for her we did and she came home and um and i was so happy you know she picked up even the next day a little bit and without going into all the details for the next five days we kind of we spent 24 7 with her i didn't leave her side she didn't leave mine but Last Thursday, she got up in the morning, or she was laying down anyway, and her breathing was getting more rapid. 
And we, we could tell, you know, she probably didn't have much time left. And I was just praying that... I was praying that she would have an easy passing, you know? So what happened was she was laying down and all of a sudden she got up really quickly. And I was like, do you want to go outside? You know, do you, do you want to go outside for a little bit? And she didn't. She took a few steps towards me and she started wagging her tail. I remember distinctively when we went to pick her up when she was a puppy. All the pups were running around and a few of them were really interested in us and they really wanted to like, you know, come up on our arms and everything. And she sat down and she looked us directly in our eyes and she just she just sat there you know for a pop i thought that was weird it was like she was asking for us to take her from there it's a long story about her and i'll probably tell you another time she did the same thing when she got up she walked over she pressed her head against mine and then she looked up and looked me straight in my eyes and she was wagging her tail and she turned around and because my mom was home as well she she walked up to her, did the same, and then Manish was having a shower before work and he came out and, you know, she was, you could tell she was weak because her, her back legs were shaking. She, she wanted to lay down, but something inside her, it's like, it just got her to get up and, and, and say goodbye. So we all, we were all around her and she laid down and literally four breaths later, and she was gone. So, so right until the end, until those four last breaths, she was conscious. She knew what she was doing. She, she took those last four breaths and she passed away. And so I haven't been able to make any videos. I'm still really upset and I haven't been able to make any videos since then because I've just, I didn't know where to begin, where to end. And I thought today, you know, I might not cry because I've accepted it. We did everything that we could have for her. She had a fantastic life. And um, there was, I have no regrets in terms of, you know, not doing something for her because we did everything. But it's sad, she was only eight years and nine months. I never thought that she would have gone so quickly and we just had such limited time. Had she have had more time? I had a dog previously that had cancer as well. And with this doctor from America, we got her out of it, you know. But she had more time. She had more time by the time everything came in that we needed to use. We only had two time with Petra. So we, it didn't work this time. And we were just shocked that it happened so quickly, you know, that it just, it just, it came so unexpected and the more I looked into it the more I saw that other people had the same issues and and it it's like one of those really silent killers that you find out when it's pretty much really advanced and too late so she was a dog that never left my side you know you probably didn't see her in every single video but she'd just be right next to the door laying down on the tiles or in the bed or underneath the desk so she was always there and I'm so grateful that I still have my other three dogs and all my cats uh, it's definitely made things easier but like having that support from them and lucy running around like crazy now hopefully will fix her eye problems soon too so but that was the reason you know i haven't made videos and and it's gonna be hard for me it's not gonna be easy i don't forget because like i said i treat all my animals like my family they're like my kids they're like they're like my family they're not they're no different so I'm sorry that maybe this video was me just crying and I didn't think I would maybe I tried to wait for a little while so that I I wouldn't you know cry but I think I could wait longer but I know be it a month from now I'm still gonna cry I'm still gonna cry so I just wanted to get this out there and um and yeah get back to vlogging you know like I, I do enjoy vlogging so I'm gonna I'm gonna continue doing that and I'm probably not gonna talk about it anymore because obviously I'm just as you can tell like I'm still sad and maybe one day I'll do a little montage of her from the time that she was a pup until later on 
One thing that I really took out of this whole situation is do everything that you can possibly do today so that you have no regrets tomorrow. And I know I did that. I know I did that. And it was worth the sleepless nights and everything else. And I'm glad that she had such a peaceful passing. And, um, you know, cherish all the moments. I guess time is precious, as they say, and it is true. And you never know when things will happen. So I've got this crazy little Lucy here that's keeping me company, running, running around the camera like mad. I think she's just trying to distract me. And um, so that I so that I can smile and she's always making me smile which is a good thing so guys I'm gonna get back into vlogging um, you know keep myself busy start getting back into life uh, and um, I hope that you have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world I hope that you've had a much better week or the last month than I have had and uh, let's get back into it yeah let's let's look at the positive things in life and that's the way I'm trying to remember my dog I'm trying to remember all the positive moments and I'm trying to cherish those. And I know it's, it's just hard talking about it. That's all. But um, I'm really I'm really keeping all those good moments close to heart. So have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now. Do you fit in nicely? I think you do. I think you do. I have to brush your beard. Would you like some watermelon? Is it yummy? Is it yummy? Good girl. Good girl.